Top of the morning to you. I'm Jim Flanagan, and you are very welcome to Coldwell Banker Flanagan Realty. About six months ago, I put together a prediction for the housing market in 2011. To date, it is the most visited or viewed video on our channel, Flanagan Realty. And just yesterday, I received a comment on this video. I'm going to read it so I don't misquote. Actually, the comment is a quote. So the commenter was not original enough to come up with his own comment, so he just quoted somebody. So Mr. Bluegrass, this is the quote. The brief recovery in 2009 has now been entirely snuffed out, and the average American home now costs 33% less than it did in 2007. The fall on house prices in the Depression was 31%, and prices took 19 years to recover. Prices are back to their 2002 levels. The national index fell 4.2% over the first quarter alone, and is down 5.1% compared to its year-ago level, according to David Blitzer, chairman of the index committee at S&P Indices. Well, Mr. Bluegrass, we could all pull quotes from experts out of our ass. I actually have one that I'll read at the end of this video. But before I do, I just want to review my predictions for 2011. I'll attach the link to that video below here so that you can see it for yourself. But my predictions, if, we're, if we remember correctly, were that interest rates would rise as high as 6%, that home prices would continue to fall, and that buyers would be very happy and sellers would be very disappointed. Well, I got two out of three. Not too shabby. So, how are things looking for the second half of 2011? Well, let's take a look, shall we? Okay, as we can see, interest rates fell. Despite everything that I thought and all the data that I read and the trends that I looked at, mortgage interest rates actually fell to the lowest level of the year last year last week, about 4.6%. Home prices did continue to fall as I predicted and will continue to fall as long as demand exceeds, I mean as long as supply exceeds demand. And right now in Ocean County, New Jersey, we have about a year and a half of supply without the shadow inventory coming on the market, which will increase supply and, and further drive home prices down. Now buyers and sellers, Buyers are ecstatic. I mean, think about it. Who anticipated the lowest mortgage interest rates of the year at this time? Right? The spring market's already behind us. We're into the summer. And buyers are jumping for joy now that they can get a 30-year fixed rate mortgage somewhere in the 4.5, 4.6%. Sellers, whew. Oh, I know how you feel. I have a house that I bought at the peak of the market that I can't sell. So if you don't have to sell, don't sell. All right. So, I promised you a quote. I pulled a quote myself. So, Mr. Bluegrass, coming right back at you. This is from the Wall Street Journal. You know that rag that nobody reads? Okay. The Wall Street Journal. Quote, despite all the gloom, however, there are growing indications that it is a good time to buy. Mortgage rates, which fell to 4.55% for the week ending June 2nd, according to Freddie Mac, nobody ever heard of Freddie Mac either, right? Are near 50-year lows. Homes have become more affordable than they have been in years. According to Moody's Analytics, nobody's ever heard of Moody's Analytics either, right, Mr. Bluegrass? The ratio of home prices to income is now 20.9% lower than the 15-year average through 2010 and 12.5% lower than the 1989 to 2004 average. A historic glut of homes, meanwhile, has created a buyer's market. There were about 15 million vacant homes in the U.S. last year, according to John Burns Real Estate Consulting, Inc., some 3.1 million more than normal. So, Mr. Bluegrass, I take it you're a seller. You sound like a seller, you write like a seller, and you hide like a seller. So, yes, if you need, not if you, if you want to sell your home, this is a terrible market. If you need to sell your home, you better do it now before it gets any worse. But if you want to buy a home, it just doesn't get any better than this.
and the rest of the day to yourselves.